Um, thank you to the witnesses uh, for being here to testify. I'm going to focus my comments today on Chair Grunberg. Um, Mr. Chairman, I just want to ask you, what in the heck is going on at the FDIC? Um, we had reports last year of uh, misconduct. Um, we, uh, at my initiative, engaged an independent third party who undertook a detailed review that indeed found serious issues at the agency, uh, made a series of recommendations, uh, which we are now in the process of implementing. Has anyone been fired? Uh, I can tell you that uh, in the last 12 months, there have been uh, 16 disciplinary actions, eight of them involving removal or proposals to remove. And these are at, at executive and management Has anyone positions. been fired? The yes answer or no? to that is yes. Yes. Uh, and you, as the chairman, have been there overseeing the FDIC for nine of the last 13 years, and it is under your uh, watchful eye that this toxic workplace environment has been allowed to persist, and a rampant boys' club culture that has led particularly your female employees to feel unsafe, dismissed, and unheard. Um, will you now today take responsibility for that? I have done that previously and committed to implement all the recommendations of the third party report. But you understand the frustration that, that the American people may have that this has been under your watch and it is consistent with uh, President Biden's uh, actions of not really firing anybody that is doing a terrible job. After the release of your, the report, you said you intended to resign upon confirmation of your successor. However, this has not occurred, and just yesterday, you said you intend to remain in your position until January 19th, the day before Trump's inauguration. Chair Grunberg, this is, there are significant issues at the FDIC that are, that are highlighted in the report. You've stated your intention to resign. Why do you believe it's appropriate to continue to proceed, particularly with these, not to mention all of the, the politically motivated rules that you're trying to implement and these major ch rule changes when you cannot address and haven't addressed in nine of the last 13 years major workplace culture problems within your agency? Uh, Congresswoman, as I indicated earlier, I um, previously said I would step down when a successor was confirmed. When it uh, became clear that that's unlikely to happen, I indicated that I would step down at the end of the president's term. The report also suggests that your employees don't feel they're taken seriously, and you being here today, um, I, th I can see why. Uh, you refusing to resign and step aside and allow someone else to take over and try to fix the problems that occurred under your watch, how can you justify that uh, when it appears that the workforce lacks trust in your leadership? Uh, we have worked uh, very hard uh, to follow up on all the recommendations engaging not only senior leaders at the FDIC, but employees throughout the agency. Uh, we believe we're making significant progress in implementing those recommendations, and I detail a good number of them in the appendix to my testimony. I really wish that your employees were here to testify before us so they could, they could speak up and have a voice, because I really don't feel like as the leader of this organization that you're, you're giving them a voice uh, with your, the opportunity to testify here today. I think it's just more of the same. The uh, FDIC plays a critical role in maintaining confidence in the banking system. However, the toxic culture that has been allowed to persist under your leadership undermines the public trust and industry, industry trust in your ability to follow through on your core mission. Why do you think re remaining as chair is the best approach when, when really, how is that restoring trust with the FDIC among the American people to allow you to stay and be here today to testify, really not um, standing up for the uh, employees that have suffered under your workplace culture. Uh, we, we have committed and have, our board has been working cooperatively to implement all the recommendations in the third party report. How many of those have been implemented so far? Um, a number of them, to, let me get back to you with this you know, specific number, both what we've done and what we have in process. 
I've just got a few seconds left in closing. Your actions and lack of leadership and accountability during your tenure at the FDIC are unacceptable. I would, I would urge you to consider uh, tendering your resignation today. There are clear widespread issues that have only gotten worse under your leadership, and in the aftermath of the independent report, you've done close to nothing. It's shameful and embarrassing, and I look forward to your resignation in January. Uh, that sh truthfully should have happened months ago. I yield back. The, the gentlewoman